Marcus Bailey, how long will this fog be sticking around? I don't know if it'll hang around as long as it did yesterday, but certainly could be an issue for drivers, maybe some school delays in parts of the state. We do have dense fog advisories north of Indy, but it does include the northern metro counties, Boone, Hamilton, Madison counties. This is going to go until 9 o'clock. Muncie, Newcastle, Kokomo, Marion. Harford City, Lafayette, you are all included in this. And this is where we have seen the most consistent dense fog, at least for this morning, especially in East Central Indiana. And these were areas that were hit hard yesterday morning. We had several delays up around the Muncie and Anderson, Newcastle area, especially some of those rural areas. May see a few of those again this morning. That's where, again, a lot of the dense fog has really developed. We're going to keep an eye on this here this morning. Looks like we have some issues down in southern Indiana as well. And I think that will probably be the trend. Future cast kind of showing that here, not hinting at the east central Indiana fog issues, which I will continue likely. But we're also going to be dealing with some of that fog down in southeastern portions of the state uh, here for the remainder of the morning as well. But again, I do think quickly as maybe the winds increase a bit. It's not going to be a real windy day. But enough to mix some of the cloud cover out of, or the fog out of here. Um, we're hopeful by around 9 or 10 o'clock this morning we will be fog free. Still a lot of cloud cover, though. I think we're in for a lot of gloom. We've got some mist at the airport, so that's indicative of maybe some light fog uh, out on the west side. 45 degrees right now, northwest wind at around 7 miles per hour. 43 in Kokomo, 46 in Muncie, 45 Richmond, 48 Columbus, and 47. Currently in Bloomington, impressive low to mid 50s down in the southern portion of the state where there is a cold front kind of just hanging out. It's just south of the Ohio River. And with that, a lot of rain right now down toward Kentucky and Tennessee and then stretches down into the Ozarks. Now, we will likely see this boundary move a little bit farther north. But with it south of us today, we keep our chances for rain out of here. So today, while it will be cloudy for much of the day, I don't think we see much in the way of sunshine. Um, we should be dry and seasonably mild. Mid 40s at the bus stop this morning. How about 52 on December 7th? We'll take that. Normal high should be in the mid 40s. So that's where we're going to be at early into the morning. Let's talk rain chances here because we will see a ramped up opportunity, I think, heading through the day tomorrow. Now, thinking is, I think the morning dry is probably going to be okay. Um, we may have a little bit of fog. I don't think it'll be as much of an issue as the past couple of mornings here. Future cast will roll this here. 8 o'clock, it's going to be a close call. And some of you that are watching us down south, you will be wet heading into work. Uh, with showers kind of riding through here, there may be a few ice pellets kind of mixing in. Numbers are going to slip into the 30s in some spots. So do be aware of that. I don't think it's going to be an overall big issue in terms of slick conditions. By lunchtime, that's a pretty wet look. Central and southern Indiana, some downpours certainly possible. That trend's going to continue, I think, through the afternoon. The evening drive for your Thursday, very much wet. Um, and then we'll start to kind of wind things down, I think, through the overnight hours or late night hours, at least. This is Friday morning at midnight. I also think there'll be some scattered precipitation kind of riding in here to the north uh, for Friday. Uh, I don't know if we're going to see much in terms of precip heading into your Friday here in Indy. Uh, but north of Indianapolis, you'll have some scattered chances here. All right now, I'm going to keep the weekend dry and very minimal chances for rain on Monday. Highs tomorrow, around 50 degrees. Not bad considering we've got the rain coming in and not a big shift on Friday. We're into the upper 40s for highs. The weekend will be a bit cooler, but seasonable for this time of year. And again, this cloudy stretch will roll on. I think sunshine really coming at a premium. 45 on Saturday, 44 for your Sunday. Peterman Brothers Heating and Cooling 8-day forecast. I think we'll start the work week off quiet. Again, relatively mild, 47 Monday, 50 on Tuesday, and then a good shot for showers next Wednesday with highs in the mid-40s. Thank you, Marcus.